The Idealist by Frederick Henry Hedge, 1805 to 1890, read for LibriVox.org. The Idealist. Half this world without me wrought other substance than my thought. Lives it by my sense alone, or by essence of its own? Doth yon fireball, poised in air, hang by my permission there? Are the clouds that wander by but the offspring of mine eye, born with every glance I cast, perishing when that is past? And those thousand thousand eyes scattered through the twinkling skies, do they draw their life from mine, or of their own beauty shine? Now I close my eyes, my ears, and creation disappears. Yet if I but will the view, all creation lives anew. Or, more wonderful, within new creations do begin. Hues more bright, and forms more rare, than the world of sense doth wear. Pass before the inner eye, born of its own sufficiency. Visions come, and visions go. What is substance? What is show? Is the world of sense more stable than the world which dreamers fable? Will its life with mine begun vanish quite when that is done? Or another consciousness with the self-same forms impress? Will those stars no longer blaze when these eyes have ceased to gaze? And the joys of things be o'er when these pulses beat no more? thought that in me stirs and lives life to all things living gives art thou not thyself perchance but the universe in trance a reflection inward flung by that world thou fanciest sprung from thyself thyself a dream of the world's thinking thou the theme be it thus or be thy ray offspring of interior day thought through thee alone for me hath this world reality therefore in thee will i live to thee all my being give losing still that i may find this boundless self in boundless mind end of poem this recording is in the public domain April 1844 by Ferdinand Philograph, 1810 to 1876, read for LibriVox.org. April 1844. Yes, Germany is Hamlet. Lo, upon her ramparts every night there stalks in darkness, grim and slow, her buried freedom steel-clad sprite beckons the warder standing there across the shrinking doubter saying they've dropped fell poison in mine ear draw thou the sword no more delaying he listens and his blood runs cold the horrid truth at length laid bare drives him to be the avenger bold but will he ever really dare he ponders dreams but at his need no strengthening comes but scruples haunting i for the prompt courageous deed the prompt courageous soul is wanting it comes from dawdling over much lounging and reading tired to death sloth holds him in its iron clutch he's grown too fat and scant of breath he spun his learned yarn away. His best of action was but thinking. Too long in Wittenberg his stay, employed with lectures or with drinking. And so his resolution fails. He madness feigns, thus gaining time. Soliloquizes too, and rails, and curses time and spite in rhyme. A pantomime must help him too. And when he does fight somewhat later, why then Polonius Kotzebu receives the stab and not the traitor? And thus he bears, thus dreamily, with secret self-contempt his pain. 
he lets them send him o'er the sea and sharp in speech comes home again jeers right and left his hints are dark talks of a king of shreds and patches but for a deed god save the mark no deed from all this talk he hatches at last he gets the purpose lacked and grasps the sword to keep his vow but ah tis in the final act it only serves to lay him low with those his hate has overcome scourging at last their black demerits he dies and then with tuck of drum comes fortinbras and all inherits thank god we're not yet come to this the first four acts have been played through see lest the parallel there is be in the fifth act borne out too early and late we hope and pray o oh, hero come no more delaying gird up your loins act while you may the spectre's urgent call obeying o oh, seize the moment strike to-day there still is time fulfil your part ere with his poisoned rapiers play a french laertes find your heart let not a northern army clutch your rightful heritage beforehand oh look to it i doubt me much if this time it will come from norland resolve and be fresh courage born enter the lists make good your boast think on the oath that you have sworn avenge avenge your father's ghost why ponder thus eternally yet dare i scold i ancient dreamer am after all a piece of thee thou ever loitering lingering schemer end of poem this recording is in the public domain